This is Channel 25 WVTT Olean. Now, from the Twin Tiers' biggest broadcast news operation, this is the 6 o'clock report with Jeff Andrulonis and Alexa Olson. Listen on News Radio 96.7 WVTT or watch on News Channel 25 WVTT Television. WVTT proudly presents the 6 o'clock report. Good evening, I'm Alexa Olson. And I'm Jeff Andrelonis. Good evening. The big story tonight on the 6 o'clock report. Keeping those who drive under the influence of drugs and alcohol off the streets. State and local police are taking part in a national enforcement effort that continues through September 3rd for the Labor Day holiday, targeting motorists driving under the influence of drugs and alcohol. It's called Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over, and it's an effort that targets impaired drivers and highlights the worsening problem of drugged driving. In Pennsylvania, PennDOT Secretary Barry Schock tells WVTT that overall DUI crashes are trending downward, but his office is seeing a troubling increase in drug-related crashes this year. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo announced yesterday the placement of drop boxes at nine New York State Police Troop headquarters that will give New Yorkers across the state a secure place to dispose of unused prescription medications and controlled substances. More than 70 percent of abused prescription medications are obtained from friends or relatives. The drop box for our area is located at the Troop A Batavia site. Also today, the governor unveiled New York's new Path Through History. That's a statewide roadmap that plots historic places and culturally, culturally significant sites throughout the Empire State. This new effort shows off New York's rich history, but it also promotes tourism and economic development in communities in every region of the state. The governor formally unveiled the initiative during today's Path Through History conference at Empire State Plaza in New York City. Well, two teen suspects have pleaded not guilty to the murder of a five-year-old from Niagara Falls who was found dead in an alley yesterday. Isabella Tennant was found by police in an alley dumpster between 3rd and 4th Streets in Niagara Falls. Authorities are calling it a homicide. The girl's body was found fully clothed and there didn't seem to be any signs of abuse. Meeting a new bishop in Olean, local Catholics were able to meet and welcome Bishop Richard J. Malone this weekend at a mass at St. Mary of the Angels Church for the Southern Cattaraugus County Vicariate. This was the first appearance for the bishop in the Southern Tier. The bishop was introduced as the leader of the Diocese of Buffalo earlier this month. The religious celebration was attended by hundreds of Catholic parishioners and the clergy of the seven Catholic churches within the area. Well, event staff for Bonagini have already started the final stages of planning before the festival starts on September 22nd. The annual festival scheduled to be held from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on September 22nd will be filled with activities, arts and crafts, music, food and vendors on Main Street in downtown Allegheny. Event coordinators for Bonagini say that it's not too late to sign up to have a vendor booth at the festival. The fee for a booth is $25. A Cattaraugus County man is facing extradition tonight back to McKean County. He's 38-year-old Stephen Mazarek, charged with two counts of sexual assault in connection with alleged inappropriate sexual contact with two girls, ages 14 and 16, at the Beacon Light Behavioral Health Systems Residential Facility in McKean County. That's where he worked back in May. Mazarek was taken into custody yesterday in Cattaraugus County. He awaits extradition back to McKean County. A new committee has been formed by the Port Allegheny School Board at last night's meeting that will look into ways of improving the district's academic programs. Getting special attention will be the elementary school, which was listed as low performing based on the 2012 PSSA test results. The committee will ask those not on the board for ideas on how to improve the educational program. Also last night, the resignation of technology coordinator Thomas Jordan was discussed in a meeting prior to the public meeting. No details were given surrounding the resignation effective October 26th. If you know someone who's saving money to go to school, you know how tough that can be. The state of Pennsylvania is looking to make that a little easier. Pennsylvania Senator Judy Schwank of Berks County is reminding parents and grandparents 
and students that there's still time to save for college at last school year's credit prices in the Pennsylvania 529 Guaranteed College Savings Plan. Senator Swank can speak from experience. She used the program to help pay for her daughter's tuition at Penn State. It meant a huge deal for us. It helped us to allow her to attend Penn State and uh, did not have to take out loans because we were thinking ahead and saving ahead. Stay tuned. We have more news, sports, and weather on the way, including WVTT's World News Roundup. That's next as the 6 o'clock report rolls on here on News Channel 25, WVTT.